Hey, this is Gene. Um, I wasn't going to do this video. Uh, I haven't been watching the game, and it's 63-3 to now. And now everybody's going to say we didn't deserve to be in the college football playoff. A lot of people are already doing it. You know, uh, this is probably the worst defeat we've ever had. I don't know how Mike Norvell is going to, what he's going to say after the game. I'm sure it'll be classy and all that stuff, and he won't say anything. Uh, the old conspiracy things I heard that, that ESPN and stuff were paying the, the Georgia players to make sure that they win, I guess. Um, like I said, I didn't watch it all. Because I knew it was going to happen. I didn't expect it to be like this. But um, the fact is, our, our defense was not available, of course, and neither was our offense. And I went down and talked to my wife about it, and she's say, saying, well, the players shouldn't have opt, opted out. And that Georgia has most, you know, the, the Georgia players stayed. I don't know what that says about a program. I don't have an issue with them opting out. I said after we got the snub, I think that we should we should not go to the play, pull, uh, pull game. I don't know it did anything for us. Uh, we already knew that this was going to happen once we got snubbed. The pit players that hadn't been with the program that long were not going to stay unless we were in the college, college football playoff. And then you're going to have people online saying that we shouldn't be in the college football play because of all this. People have no idea. Most of them are Gator fans or people who don't like Florida State. And they're all saying the college football playoff committee got it right. Um, I think the biggest thing that, that I, I got upset about was Rodemaker when he, when he did what he did, on I think, on Christmas Day went to the, the transfer portal uh, when he was working out with a team. Uh, and this was a team, that, a player that had been with the team for a while. And then he decided the best thing for him was to go into the transfer portal. When, as a leader, he should have probably played. The question is, would, have, would Travis played? Let's just say we still got the snub. Do you think that Travis would have still played? I'm sure he would have. And the fact that he's a leader of this team, a lot of guys end up leaving and not playing. It's not, the issue is nothing to do about, it was basically an exhibition game, and it helps, helps, I guess, a little bit for our guys who never didn't play it all year. But you can see that we don't have the depth of some of the other teams out there. But man-to-man, -man, uh, our first team can play anybody in the country. But our second and third, fourth or fifth, when it comes to defense, just doesn't have uh, the ability to do that. Um, and we're still trying to get better at this. Uh, I'm trying. I don't. You know. I'm, I don't want to be upset about it. It sucks because it's been a great year. And all it's, all people that are, don't have an idea what college football means, why we didn't come out and played well today, uh, why we're being beat the way that we are, um, a lot of people want to say the kids are, are embarrassing themselves. I, I don't see how anybody that actually is playing out there can say that because they stayed. They could have not played. They could have opt, uh, opted out. Now, maybe a 10 or 15 more would have opted out. Maybe uh, Coach Norvell would have said we're not going to play the game. Uh, I don't know if it, the right thing is to play the game. I mean, it's like 2020 now. I, I said we probably shouldn't have done it. I said that probably I think the best thing to do was to boat boycott the game and just end up being 13-0. It's just all the good games we've had this year. The comebacks, um, the stuff that we did when Travis went down, uh, it kind of gets washed away. It shouldn't because we're still ACC champions. Um, and everybody who really watches college football should know that this was not a real college football game. It's very disappointing to me, the guys that I watch, like uh, T.J. Moe, some other people out there, especially T.J. Moe, saying that we had two choices, that we can go out there and beat uh, Georgia, and then we can claim a champ, champ, championship, or what we did, did, we did was just played an embarrassing game and we didn't show up. And it's like, this guy doesn't understand what happened. If, if his team, his Missouri lost... Uh, 15 of, of, of their starters 
on almost all of their uh, front line when it comes to uh, on defense. There is no possibly way they would have beat Ohio State. Ohio State lost their quarterback, and I guess he can take that they scored 14 points against Ohio State, and he could have this is a great year that they've had in Miss, uh, at in Missouri, and good for them. I like Missouri. Back when was, we were in the Big Eight, you know, I've probably been a fan of Missouri longer than this guy's been alive, um, and he went there to play there, uh, and I, I'm with him and a lot of things, but this. It's, it's this attitude that I have an issue with. Uh, I don't, he, he can say that Florida State shouldn't have been in the playoff. Uh, he can look at all the different things before we go in and said maybe they made the right decision, and that's just his opinion. But when people now say this after, when we're getting blown out, and now they're saying this is what Florida State should have done to prove that they need to be in the playoff. This is the same thing that Joel Klatt said, that we had to prove to be in there. And Colin... Ha- Coward is saying we have to prove that we'd be in there. And he's on Twitter today saying that that we were complaining. Mark Mike Nord- Norvell did not complain about this at all. He stated his state he stated his case to be in the the college football playoff, just like Saban did, just like everybody else did. We didn't cl- now if he wants to say about the fans, that's fine. He could say that, but he didn't. He said that Florida State did this. And then then the uh, Um, and then our legal people in Florida, in Florida did things. Uh, United, or, uh, Florida State had nothing to do with that. These people did that. These politicians do that. They do that for votes and stuff. It's just it's, it's a bad look for people like this who are supposed to be sports reporters, and they don't understand what's actually happening. You still hope that we go out there and we can be somewhat comp- competitive, but when the things start going down, down the road, and you can't you can't actually stop them <laughs> in the running game. You know, we still had over like 200 yards in the first half. Uh, we did things against them, but when we got where we needed to go, we didn't we didn't cast it in. And Georgia doesn't they don't let let up, but that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna end up playing them again in a real time game, and then we're gonna give it back to them. We'll remember all this. We're not, we're, this is not going to be the end of Florida State. It's just, it's, it's, for, for, for Mike Norvell, this is a, it, he doesn't deserve. The players that actually played today don't deserve any issues, regardless that they got beat. Uh, when, when people, when, when, when Tom Pundits and people that I somewhat respect say that it's been embarrassing, they're out there playing. That's not embarrassing. Just because you played a depleted Ohio State team that normally would beat you, it doesn't give you the right to say things like this. It, it doesn't. And I, I thought the guy was better than this. I, I, at this point, you shouldn't even really comment on this if you don't know the full ramification of what you're saying. There are way too many people out there, casual fans, saying Florida State shouldn't have been in the college football playoff based on what they see today. They don't know all the other shits happen and why the entire season we went 13-0, and and then at the end of that, it was we basically were told that it didn't matter. And it's very difficult to say a young kid that what you did and you, you blood, sweat, and tears didn't matter. And it's hard now to motivate them to be back up for the next game. And when all your leaders are not there, and that's the, that's the issue that Florida State had in this. And I don't know what that means. Maybe you got, got to get better players. But the, the problem is, this is how it's going to be in, in college football. We have to understand this. It's, these players are mercenaries at this point. They don't stay for their team. Now, great that Georgia did that. And a lot of them stay because they want to win their 50 games with their graduation class. Great. And they want to prove that they were the best teams in the country, which they are. But there's no way with our number one stand, starting offense and defense they would ever score more than 30 points against us. People know this. People that understand college football understand that. I do like the things that Will Kane and Booger McFarlane said. Said it doesn't matter. It could be 75 to nothing. Doesn't make the. It should mean that Florida State still should be in the college football playoff. All we saw today was an explanation game, and you can have the casuals and these people that 
didn't like the idea that Florida State was going to be in it anyway, and they're going to be just talking for the next six year, six months about it. They're going to have their own shows saying, see, see, see. Um, but they won't say anything about Ohio State. Ohio State hasn't, hasn't won a bowl game since 2014, I think. Um, and they're probably considered a higher tier of a, of a college football program than we are. So I don't know what to say. I knew something was going to happen. I didn't think we were going to beat Georgia. I think that was the team that, that the only one I feared, really, if we had to actually play them. But when we don't play them with our best teams, um, there's no way you're going to beat Georgia. So it's uh, unfortunate. You, you move on. Hopefully it doesn't dis- destroy our recruiting ba- base. Hopefully these kids will come back. And we'll just, you know, we'll have the opportunity to play these teams in real, in a real event instead of this game that was basically, was just show up, put on the Florida State uh, uniform, get money, and go back to Florida State and not worry about get hurt. Like I said, I didn't watch the game. I was not going to watch that because uh, I thought that probably the right thing for us to do was probably to boycott it, but we'd, 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 we would have deal with a lot of shit if that happened as well. Uh, they would have said we were quitters. Even though we showed up with half of our team, we're still quitters by certain people's, or embarrassments, by some people's uh, belief systems. And again, it's very disappointing, disappointing that people like guys who actually played the game s- says shit like that about kids. Kids are 18, 19 that have played today. Uh, the freshmen who haven't played much at all this entire season, and they're out there trying to play, and they got the Florida State shirt sh- sh- on, shirt on, and people like T.J. Mo sits there and says that's embarrassing. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Like I said, I like the dude, but this is a bad take by him. I wish he did shut shut his fucking mouth, and it you know relish that the fact that Missouri had 11 wins this year. I always like it when a team that comes from because I don't consider the uh, Missouri in the SEC. They transferred to the SEC. To me, they're still the Big Eight. So any one of those teams like that do well in the SEC. I like that. Like I said, I I've been to Columbia so many times. Uh, they were like my third or fourth best uh, college football team that I grew up rooting for back in eight in the Big Eight. I always rooted them against Nebraska and Oklahoma. But what he said today is not called for and it's it's a sh- it's a shame that it came from him but anyway i'm gonna let it go you guys have a good weekend a good uh, new year's and it's only football we just move on from that bye